Hello, and thank you so much for joining us. I am Cedric Bailey, and I tell you what, we are just having a phenomenal time this week, getting ready to head to Nashville uh, to the Stellar Awards. We just shared with you music from Stephen Robinson, Keandra Lockett, and also the one and only Christina Bell. Hey, how you doing? I'm great, Cedric. How are you? I'm excited on today, and I know that you're on your way to Nashville. What is going on in the Music City, and what's going on with Christina Bell? First of all, I'm so excited that it's back in Nashville. I can't do like I can't hold my composure. I'm just so excited. Uh, but uh, I am so ready for uh, the Stellar Awards, the 36th annual Stellar Awards. It's been, uh, you know, last year was a little bit different, but I'm glad that we get the opportunity to come back together. Uh, I've been. Oh, goodness. I've still been traveling. I've still been busy. I've still been doing uh, the work of the Lord. I've still been uh, auditioning because I've been bitten by the acting bug. So I've been auditioning and, uh, you know, doing quite a bit and still being a mom and just uh, loving my career and just really, really enjoying life. Let me ask you a question, because when you stepped out on faith and my good friend Herman Burroughs introduced me to you, yes. and you and the other young ladies came together, you know, with you and Keandra and how y'all were all came together and then y'all just split different directions. Mm -hmm. I mean, what did you do? I mean, cause I know y'all stepped out on faith, but you did, did you really think God was still gonna do this for you? Absolutely, his promises, his, look, I, I got a song out called Still Faithful, okay? Yes, so yes. <laughs> His promises do not uh, do not fail just because you you and your group decide to go different directions. So uh, and we didn't really stray far away from each other. We just, you know, decided to do solo projects and uh, be married and uh, have children and all of that good stuff, uh, but still working in the church all the while still, um, you know, singing and doing everything that the, the Lord has designed uh, and put out in the front of us. So, you know, we didn't necessarily stray too far away from each other, but we definitely had to make sure that we continued on uh, growing in God. Amen. Yeah. Keandra, uh, of course, Lockett is your good friend and Christina, you've been really, really busy. I mean, do y'all and the other young ladies too as well mention their names too as well because I know y'all stay in contact. Yeah, of course. Well, I have to stay in contact with my sister, Crystal Bell. Uh, she was a soprano. <laughs> Yes. So she is still my very best friend, Afton Jones, uh, Andrea Northcutt, and uh, we're all definitely still uh, in, in contact and, and loving on each other. So everybody's still doing really, really good. Uh, matter of fact, Andrea married uh, uh, the pastor of the church that we grew up in. Mm -hmm. um, he's a young and amazing pastor, man of God. And uh, it's so crazy because it's full circle. Like it's almost like everything is always full circle for me. So I'm like, okay, all right, that's what we're doing now. All right, all right, yeah. I like it. <laughs> you know, you know what that means, Christina? What's that mean? It's gonna happen is in a few years from now, not now, but sometime it might be five years, it might be 10 years. Um, who knows? Y'all might have to come back together for a reunion tour. You never know what's gonna happen. Right, right? absolutely, right? absolutely. Yeah. But you know, today. I'm just glad that I'm focusing on what Christina is doing, but you know, you never know. I, I definitely, I mean, cause look at commission, look at, you know, my big bro, Fred, you know, they yeah. definitely came back together and for a phenomenal, phenomenal time. So I'm really, really excited about what the future holds. Definitely. Amen. Today's guest is the one and only Christina Bell. And, and you got one song. I just can't get it out of my head. That song going. And uh, I'm yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just you start off so mild and, you, and you're doing that in this new song, too, as yeah. well. But, you know, you just break it down. And I had to just sit there and listen to it as myself about mm -hmm. that song. So now, after all these songs you put out together, let's talk about your new one right mm -hmm. now. Uh, Still Faithful. What was yeah. what was the concept? What was going on? So my good friend Lamont Sloan actually penned this song. He penned another song for my upcoming album, uh, but he penned this song and uh, it's so beautiful. You know, I, I don't really know what he was experiencing when he wrote it, but I'm sure he was thinking of how God keeps his promises to us and, and doesn't retreat in his word. So it's amazing how much it means to everybody that God is still faithful, but 
crazy enough, sometimes we stray away from our faith. Yes. He still keeps his promises to us. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's so crazy. But I'm, I, I just, I really, really believe that that's where uh, Lamond was when he was writing the song. Uh, and if he wasn't, I, I just gave him a storyline. <laughs> I know that's right. Yes, yes. <laughs> Well, Christina, uh, is there a YouTube video for it as well? Not just yet. We are definitely still working on a couple of things. So uh, we may have a YouTube video for it or a lyric video. You know, uh, I'm really, really just, I really want to do a, a video with me and, you know, just being extravagant uh, with a video and not necessarily a lyric video, but I think that that'll be a really dope idea to, to actually delve into doing videos. Gotcha. How can your social media followers, uh, your fans uh, who uh, keep up with you, Christina, how can they stay in contact with you? So if you want to stay in contact with me, you can definitely go and search me. It's actually going to be best for you to go to my uh, my website, which is officialchristina.com. And everything that you need is right there. So from my social media platforms to where I'll be performing and all of that wonderful, wonderful good news. I want to ask you this question in closing. I know you've had some dark moments and stuff in life because sometimes things don't go the way we, we uh, plan, but who would be that person you reach out to and talk to? And now you can share your testimony, what God will bring you through, Christina. My mom, definitely. She is top. The number one person that I always reach out to because my mom, she's the one that taught me to pray while and even before uh, you reach those types of uh, situations because we know that that they'll happen. Um, but she prays for me uh, immediately. And you know how some people be like, you know, I'm gonna pray for you. You know, my mom is one of those people. She's right there on it. Mm -hmm. And I always reach out to her. But if uh, if she says it's a go to to say what I need to say <laughs> in the public, then I'll say it. But sometimes, you know, it's always, uh, it's it's pretty much best to keep some of your testimony to yourself because everybody can't handle it. So you have to be wise with sharing certain things. But um, I love to help people and uh, share my testimony of how I have overcome because I've definitely overcome some dark, 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 dark moments like a lot of people have. But thanks yes. to God. God is still faithful. That's right, because you wrote a song, you sang it, or the song has been written and you've been blessed to share with us. And I'm so glad I had a chance to open it up this hour. Still faithful, ladies and gentlemen, Christina Bell is our guest today here on the, the Cedric Bailey Radio Show. I want you to be sure to share this video and be sure to share this with your friends. As a matter of fact, you can go to the website and check out our podcast in case you missed this interview. Christina, you get the final word. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. <laughs> I just wanted to tell everybody uh, in 2 Thessalonians 3 and 3, it says, uh, but the Lord is faithful and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. Uh, I just rem remember uh, that still faithful speaks to those of us that have experienced our faith wavering, but it's a song that teaches us how to remain faithful, just like God remains faithful to us. Uh, and it's important to pay attention to God's faithfulness towards his own. Um, and he also teaches us to not give up no matter how weak you may become. So remain faithful because when you do, in the end, you will win. All right. Today's guest on the Cedric Bailey Radio Show, Christina Bell. Thank you so much. And may God continue to bless you. Thank you, Cedric. <laughs>